Hey guys, so because of the self-isolation, a lot of people have to stay home. And so we came up with the idea to actually record a few different kind of videos of a different game. And this is like one of those games. Uh, it's for your phone. It's called Last Day on Earth. And the purpose of the game is basically after an outbreak, um, a lot of people turned either into zombies or you have survive survivors. And you're one of the survivors, you have your own home, as you can see over here. That's basically your base, your home, you have to build it up. Uh, where I am right now is a forest. You can get resources, you can get wood, you can get stones, and so on. Uh, which you can use for your home just to survive longer. And one thing that I want to show is this spot over here. It's a place where all the zombies come to life, and after 24 hours every day, uh, there's an outbreak, and they will reach your home, and you have to defend against it. Uh, so for now, I will first enter the forest, just to show you how the game works. You have weapons, you have fighting skills, and you have some bags and stuff. So on the bottom right, this is your weapon, you can attack people with it. Next to it you have the bag, when you click on the bag you can see your weapon, you can see your bag, you can see pretty much everything that you're holding on to. Uh, I'm actually gonna put my weapon over here, just in case. And this hatchet over there, which I can cut down logs with, and when I press auto on the bottom left, it will automatically cut it for me, and as soon as I start moving, I will have control over it again. So, I usually do it this way. So, we're just cutting logs, stay up here in the inventory over there. Oh, okay, we got it. Uh, so, this thing over here is a chest, and as you can see on the minimap, there's a lot of red spots. Those are basically the zombies, and I usually try to avoid those, just so I don't die. Uh, I usually take all, and now it's all in my inventory, and I just run away. Uh, the items that you collect, they go with you back to your home. And you can build like motorbikes, you can build a lot of different things. Here is like a list of all the things you can build. And everything has like a recipe and you need to collect those items. And there's another chest over here. Let's open this up. So yeah, for everything, there's something different and you just need to collect the right stuff. Taking the glue. Yeah, so 5 times for the limestones and 4 times for the rocks. So let's fight one of these people. So here's the zombie. Uh, these are like the level 1 zombies, so they barely hurt. So you can kill them pretty much right away. I'll just shoot him. So the thing about the gun is they have durability. And I usually don't use it too much because... I can use it in better situations, but for now it's fine. And then I take a look, I am pretty thirsty, below player 9424, it says how thirsty I am. I can use it, and then I can get a water bottle, or I can save it up. Fisherman endure cold or hungry slowly, I don't know, I usually go safe, so I get hungry less often because if you get hungry you can starve and you have to start basically over oh let's kill them real quick i might actually die here okay so you can just run away when you exit the place uh they stop chasing you and you can just go away or you can enter back in there if you aren't done yet Sometimes there are events, they show up and they can click on show me. 
and it says here 59 minutes and 43 seconds that's how long they will stay there and after that it just disappears uh, usually they give items and fun stuff so we'll go take a look at it in a bit so the zombies that i mentioned earlier uh they have spawned after you log into the game they spawn and then you have 24 hours to prepare for the zombie attack and if you don't log in for like let's say a month uh, they won't appear for a month the last time they attacked i didn't log in and it's been like a week or something so they basically destroyed my walls probably so when we enter you can probably see it uh then you can go to locations on the left you see run and on the right you see walk you can either walk and save up your energy at the top left you see your energy you have 200 at the moment so when you run it basically expands it but you're you reach your destination a lot faster and then every five minutes uh, one energy gets refunded so you need to keep that in mind when you use your energy because sometimes events show up and they're there for like six minutes then you have to run to the location and else it basically disappears. Yeah, so zombies from the infected forest can break down your house. You need to upgrade the walls and set traps up to protect yourself from the enemies. So they basically attacked. Um, if I take a look. I need to look where my walls are broken and I need to fix them up. Wait. Ah. There's only one wall broken. So then I click this wall, click over there, and build. And yeah, they didn't actually attack that much, so everything is fine. Uh, the items that I've collected are over here. I can put them away, or I can throw them away, or just to save up inventory. Just to show quickly, on the left, I basically collect the materials that I have. And I just put them together. Um, yeah, this is fine. These are like materials that you need to build up uh, any of these things, basically. Uh, this is my med kit. Basically everything that has to do with food. Everything that has to do with water. Something to heal me up. I put it in here. So basically that. And then next up we have the weaponry. This is the weapon. So I put the weapon in there. And the weapons you basically need for an invasion or when you are planning an invasion yourself. Then over here we have armor. Uh, there's no armor in my inventory so I'll just leave it at that. Over here you have hatchets. I just basically pick them up when I go out for a walk to utilize. And then over here we have weapons and bags. So all of that is fine. Next this is like an extra room i don't really know yet what to do with this room because i don't have enough resources so i just put down the stuff that i have over here until i need it later and these are my puppies so when i click over here you see my puppies and what level they are um the time remaining is how long they need to actually grow up and go and hunt with me and this is the kind of food that they eat it's usually turkey, beef, or some dog food. So yeah, I'll take care of that later. First off, I want to show this. This is my working space. So every material that you basically build up to need for this place, uh, I create them over here. Before I do that, as you can see, I am hungry. Uh, when I click on my status, it says 2019 right now. 79 thirst level when i click here it's basically thing be prepared for the the cook king thing and this is where i leave all my food so here's a jerky i can just use two of these and my health should be back up to 100 yeah and over here we have the water so i can just use one of these and it should be fine the water bottles you need to collect because they actually can save up rainwater and you can get new bottles so that way you will never get thirsty again and another way to never actually leave, have to leave your home and still basically get food wait who's this oh, okay it's it's a random guy 
Hey, wait, what's this? Quadcopter. It looks like you won't fly more, but you managed to extract coordinates of the launch site from it. I guess. What's this? Oh, that's me. So, when you die because of a zombie attack or something, your body just remains there and you get respawned as someone different. So, over here we have our field. It can turn into carrots. We have seeds. You just put the seeds down there. And then over here I put down all the carrots that I've collected. So I never get hungry again. So that's how you get your thirst level up and how you don't get hungry at all. Uh, this is like the first pickup truck. When you start the game, uh, there's some stuff in there. Oh, hello zombie. That was really random. And then you just take whatever the zombie has left. Like these kind of zombie attacks aren't that challenging or anything. So yeah, uh, food and water essential to stay alive. You just keep an eye on the health and the thirst level. Then over here you have the workshop. These are furnaces. Uh, you can turn it into iron and stuff. Uh, let's split this into two. Use half of it over there. And over there, the other half. And this way you can actually... Oh, and these are like my materials uh, before I use a furnace, and here's the materials I use after the, the furnace. Uh, over here we have, whenever you don't know what you can do with something, uh, you just click on the recipe list and it will show what turns into what. Uh, yeah, I don't really need that anymore yet, because I'm not building anything from the workshop. But I'll need it later, so I already have a space for it. And this is like something normal. Just you can turn them into bricks. Put them over here. And then after every four minutes, uh, a brick gets created. Then we look over here. You can put this down here. Two of them turn into rope. You just collect the ropes and then you put it in here. And these are like raw materials before they're added to basically. And you can then edit them over here. And then last up we have... Basically to upgrade your walls... Uh, you need a special kind of a wood. And that wood can be created over here. So you, can, you create planks out of the wood that you have. And you put the planks in your inventory. I usually then put them over there. To use them when it's necessary. And everything else I just put in here. You can click the middle thing and it will sort them automatically. And so if I zoom out. Uh, one essential thing that you will want to have at some point. Are these walls. Uh, when zombies attack they need to get through the walls before they get to you. During the zombie attacks they destroy walls. But that's about it. They destroy your walls and you have to build them up again. Uh, that's why I have three layer or four layers of walls, and then I basically have everything that I need from home. And yeah, so I showed the water and the food place. I showed the workshop. Uh, the middle part is basically my home and my inventory. Over here is my dog shelter. I haven't really paid much much attention to it yet because I'm still. Building up everything basically. I still want to make, create walls over here. So I get more space on the inner side. But for that I need resources and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the one with the blue walls. I'll take a walk over there. Uh, it already existed. So when you start a game. You have this square circle over here. Or squared circle. <laughs> the, the squared house over here. With night blocks. And you also have this place with these walls. So over here you have like the the motorbike. Over time you can collect all the materials you need for it. And then with the motorbike you can get to your locations a lot faster. Then we look at, take a look over here. This is your weapon. You can modify them or not modify them. And you have like a whole working bench to increase the power of your weapons. And over here you can create new weapons. And for that you need to collect blueprint, blueprints from the chests. That I showed earlier in the forest. Um, 
Um, so yeah, that's basically how I built it up. Let's take a quick look at this. Hatchets. Uh, it's really easy to build. It's just some wood and some limestones. And you can create a hatchet. Hatchets are used to cut down trees. Over here is a pickaxe. It's to, uh, yeah, basically get the limestones from the rocks. And this is a weapon. So these are like the three base stuff that you need whenever you go out for a hunt. And... This one is to attack, this one's to get stones, this one's to get wood. Small box you can just create inside of your house to put down your inventory and stuff. Uh, when you go out, you definitely need a backpack. And the backpack basically carries up to 20 items for you. And the more space you have, the better. But when you start the game for the first few months, it's just going to be this basic backpack. And at some point you can get a military backpack which has more space, but until then, this is all you have to deal with. Um, garden, workbench, furnace, it's just for materials. This one you need to collect water with. As I showed earlier, bandages is to heal yourself in battle. You need five cloths for that. <clears throat> I basically have all of that in my inventory. The dog shelter that I showed, you can get clothes. It's not mandatory, but... It gives some extra stats, just so you die a lot less, faster. You can enforce them, but it takes a lot of materials, and I usually don't do it, because if you die, they're gonna disappear anyway. So I like to play high risk, high reward. Here's an ATV. It's the same as your motor bike, but you can reach it faster. Here is a thick jacket, so when you go on missions, you'll basically need this stuff because it gives a lot more stats. And yeah, the more you level up, the more points you get. At the top you see 34 points. You can use those points to actually learn those skills and... Yeah, everything basically says what they do and which materials you need for it. You just need to collect it basically. Uh, always take a look at your health. So basically, while we've basically been walking around, my health went down. A uh, trick to not have any issues with that. Wait, I'll just show when you use berries, your health and your HP goes up by, but it's a little bit, so it doesn't really do what is what's needed. So yeah, that was my base. You just need to collect resources and just build up your base as much as possible. You only start with a square of nine blocks with the the wood. And that's everything you get. Everything else you need to build up from scratch. You can hear gunshots far away. Maybe you should check. And the drone that gave me coordinates can also be shown. Okay, so first off, you have the dog thing. It's not really important. It's usually just some stuff that you can get. Um, I can go there later. You have 12 minutes for here and one hour for there. So let's first go over there. Let's run since we have enough energy for now. The destination is the coordinates that we got from the drone. And we're there. Let's enter. These locations are usually really scary. I see you found the coordinates. There's military cargo lying nearby. I won't milk it there alone. Follow me. I want to follow you, but I want these items as well. Uh, we can kill him. He's not that... He's not that scary. Oh no. You just run away. Because you're gonna... You're not gonna survive that. So... We can... Even though we ran away, we can enter this again. And then hopefully he will have killed all of them. The military cargo is also always really, really good for survival. I just hope I don't get chased right off the bat. Oh 
know. Um, I think he's dealing with them, but... Okay, let's see. Um... Hmm. Let's try it one more time. If they keep chasing me right away, I cannot do anything there. So I'll have to leave the spot and say bye to the cargo. Which would be a shame. Yeah, they're chasing me. Maybe I can kill them. I don't know. No, I can't. No, I have to abandon the place. Sad. So, with the right armor, the right weapons, you can deal with them easily. This one only deals 10 damage at a time. But there are also weapons that deal like 50 damage at a time. And um, let's go over there. I usually check this, just to see how much space I have left. Anything I don't need, I just put it away, basically. Um, I can swap this with this, just in case. So this pot would also give me a lot of chests, I just hope the zombies aren't too strong. Let's sneak around. So you can click this and you will start sneaking and you're less likely to be seen by the zombies. And the, then you just sneak up to the truck. Oh no, that's another player. Another player usually kills you just so he can get all of your items, basically. So now that we know what the location is, we can enter it again. And we can try to walk around it. And hopefully we can get the rest of the cargo as well. Because the cargo we got doesn't really give us much, because it's just some random items. So let's walk this way this time. Okay. Let's crawl. Why does he keep doing that? Like he's trying desperately just to kill me. Okay, let's try it one last time. If it doesn't work, I'll just leave it at that. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's basically everything about this game. Uh, you can go to locations, you can get some items. Uh, avoid other players unless you're stronger than them. That's the basic rule of this game. And if you are stronger than them, you can basically them up <laughs> um, but yeah it's all about survival collecting items and just building up a base strong enough to hold against the zombies and every everywhere you have some stuff where it says something this place is for example from another player that's another base from another player so yeah I'll just enter this and then I'm gonna Got it off. Let's hope she gives me items and doesn't actually kill me. Let's talk to her. So the dog is over there, most likely. But I'm scared of the zombie. Oh, okay, he's not that strong. Okay, so... Let's take a look about what's over there. Okay, 
there's nothing really important. Uh, maybe if I walk around this place. Can I kill him? Uh, no, I'll just abandon it. Okay, so that's basically the gist of this game. Uh, you have some permanent spots which gives you wood. You have some non-permanent -perman spots which are like events. Uh, you have these humanitarian events where they give you a lot of stuff. And basically whenever you're home you heal back up over time. And everywhere else you lose HP and you need your med kits and your food and all that kind of stuff just to survive. Um, at the beginning when you start this game you're definitely going to die a lot. But once you are done dying you'll actually be able to survive for like a week or two weeks once you know how it works and everything. And yeah, that's about it for this game. And yeah, I'm gonna leave this video at that. I hope you got an idea of how this game works and if it's something for you. Uh, leave it a share, leave a like, share it with your friends, show it to others, give it a try. It's a non-sponsored video, so it's completely up to you if you want to do it or not. And yeah, see you next time.